All right, ladies and gentlemen, Buzz coming at you here just a few days after the Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest. The seventh annual Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest went great. Uh, weather, again, friendly for the seventh year in a row. We'll see how that lasts. But uh, one of the cigar companies we were pleased to welcome was, of course, Drew Estate. And today I'm reviewing the Kentucky Fire Cured cigar from Drew Estate, which is part of their My Uzi Weighs a Ton uh, extension, which uh, I love the Uzi Weighs a Ton. Uh, I'm a public enemy, so why wouldn't I love My Uzi Weighs a Ton? And I am i don't think they market it this way, but I definitely think of this cigar as one of their flavored cigars, which Drew Estate does better than everyone. Um, it's differences, instead of essential oils or whatever they flavor the acid line with, uh, this is flavored with smoke. Uh, it's uh, when you take this one out of the wrapper, it hits you pretty hard. Smoke, of course, is a very overpowering flavor. And when I say smoke, let me explain what I mean by that. Um, it's uh, they take stalk cut tobacco. It says Kentucky fire cured, but it's not actually smoked or, or picked or grown in Kentucky. I don't think uh, it's grown where it's grown, and and then it is. Kentucky fire cured means it is basically smoked instead of being allowed to air dry and air cure in the barns. Uh, they start, start a fire in there and the barns are kept at uh, initially between 100, and 100 degrees and 115 degrees and then later on once the color reaches the solid brown 120 to 130 degrees and they throw a bunch of uh, uh, sawdust on there and just smoke the heck out of it like you would a, a rack of ribs or a or a nice brisket. Well, around here in Tennessee, we smoke everything, and I love to smoke stuff, uh, my meats and all, and other things. So I thought, okay, that's that's probably going to be good, right? I mean, a cigar flavored with smoke? Why not? I don't know what kind of hardwood they're using down there. I hope it's a hardwood. But I wasn't too pleased with the initial smell of the cigar when I first took it out of the wrapper. And I just just didn't know that you know is it going to taste like it smells usually smoked meats you know they taste like they smell not the case uh, with this cigar once I lit it it was initially uh, very pleasant and it's uh, remained that way it's uh, become a more subtle flavor because the smoke that was basically infused into the cigar that smoke flavor is mixing now with the smoke flavor of the tobaccos within the cigar and it creates a nice uh, dichotomy. By the way, I believe I have the 6x52 Just a Friend size right here. This was provided at the uh, at the Tennessee Cigar and Brewfest to me for the purpose of the uh, of the uh, review here. They suggest you're going to get uh, hickory, oak, or maple wood uh, flavors there. Um, I, I would know hickory, uh, being from Tennessee. Everything's smoked with hickory around here. Oak, maybe. Yeah, maple wood, I would say, Once you once you light it. You get a little bit of that. It smells like it's going to be a little sweet, and so far, not so much. It's it's good. It's a full flavored cigar. I'm digging it. Varying woods, they say. Okay, so I don't know what kind of wood it was smoked uh, under. Okay, the filler does include Kentucky and Virginia fire cured tobacco, along with Brazilian Matafina and Nicaraguan leaf as the filler. So there you go. It's not all. Uh, all the tobacco in the cigar is not fire cured is some of it but if it was all fire cured I think it would be overpowering so good move there Drew Estate anyway another winner from Drew Estate I mean they always they always please me so uh, it's got that cool Americana rustic wrapper there which you can dig with the brown paper uh, part of Subculture Studios which does their all their artwork and uh, the graffiti studio there in uh, Nicaragua lovely stuff. What kind of foods would you pair this with? I mean, for me, uh, it's obvious you'd want to pair it with some smoked meats, right? Like a nice uh, barbecue or some ribs. I'll tell you what I've taken to doing lately. I love barbecued bologna is a big thing in Tennessee. Where you take a big, large rag bologna, large piece of bologna, and you slow smoke that with a whole bunch of sauce on there. It makes a nice smoke ring out on the side. Tastes great. Well, you know, bolognese and hot dogs are the same darn thing. So I thought to myself, why not get some big, juicy hot dogs? beef all beef hot dogs and smoke those with the barbecue sauce and all that so I've done that lately and you get little bite size uh, uh, barbecue bolognese which 
now that I've done it, I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. So there's a little tip for you. That would go great with one of these, uh, food-wise. And as far as beverages, i got to say, uh, I'm enjoying it today with coffee, and it's working out great. This would go good with a beer, like anything smoked wood. It would go good with a beer. I, I personally wouldn't go the way of a hard liquor, but I don't usually go that way anyway. So try it with coffee, though. The smoked flavor works really great. Good job again, Drew Estate. Keep them coming.